So yesterday in BBS, we talked about Moses and all the plagues, how Moses had come to Pharaoh and, and told Pharaoh he needed to let his people go, but then there were locusts and, and flies and, and boils and, and lice and cattle dying and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. But Moses remained faithful to what God was telling him, and Pharaoh kept on hardening his hearts, and it just went from bad to worse for the Egyptians. Today, we're going to learn that God is faithful and he is in control as the Israelites finally get to escape from Egypt. Let's look at how God orchestrates using his servant Moses and, and leading the people of Israel. And then let's, let's look and see that God's promises always come true and his people are going to be set free. Hang in there. It's a great adventure. Moses, Aaron, be gone. Get all your people now and leave and go and serve your Lord. The Israelites are ready. Our journey will begin. 600,000 men with women and children. God will guide us away with a column of fire in the night and a column of cloud in the day. So the column led the people right towards the sea. It separated Egypt from the neighboring country, and there they camped. Yet the Pharaoh was already regretting his decision to free the people. We have work that's not getting done. They tricked us. Their magic cannot last. The slaves are gone. We need the slaves. Ready the chariots. We'll get them back. How many chariots? 600 of my finest. Send the best horsemen. The slaves are headed to the sea. Then we will race there and capture them. Prepare the army. The sea will stop the slaves from escaping. Their magic will be powerless against the sea. When the Israelites looked behind them, they saw a great army chasing after them, and, and they knew they were trapped by the sea. Let's see what happens next. We shall die. We, we, we are trapped. Why would you bring us out here to be perished? Don't be afraid. Stay where you are and watch. The Lord will save you. I don't want to die. Dear God, what do you want me to do? Tell the people to move on toward the sea. Raise your staff over the sea. I will make a path for you to pass through. Parted, and the wind blew all night driving back the sea until the last Israelite was able to walk through on a dry path. And when the Egyptians were told by Pharaoh to chase after the Israelites, the wheels of the chariots began to stick in the mud, and it got really icky for them. That mud wasn't there before, but they realized too late that they had to go back. And Moses raised his hand over the sea, and it returned as it was, and all of the Pharaoh's army and all their chariots and horses were engulfed by the sea, swallowed up, and they were no more. The Israelites knew that they, they had to put their trust in Moses and in God. 